Alright guys, Ryan here from RK's App Out Touch Out. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own SB settings, or basically customize them. So creating a theme for that, to get it to uh, look whatever way you want, uh, or display, rather. Okay, and um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Kevin, I think he posted a video about two videos ago, maybe, or just look back in our library, uh, how to get SB settings. So go ahead and watch that, and get yourself all hooked up, and come back to this to... Uh, follow my instructions as following, alright guys? So, uh, as soon as you have SP settings on your iPad Touch, your springboard settings, okay, um, you're going to need to open up your SSH program. I'm using WinSCP, okay? If you do not know how to SSH, as I always do, I post a uh, link to the video that we have made before, or Kevin made or something like that, uh, in the description, so go ahead and watch that and get all your necessary programs, okay guys? Okay, uh, so once you have SP settings on there and you have your SSH program, up, I want you to go, I click on this arrow here, okay, and go to VAR, okay, let it load up, go ahead and go to mobile, then library, okay, and scroll down until you see SB settings, right there, okay, and then you're going to see all these options, click on themes, Okay, and these are the themes that uh, come with your SB settings when you get them, or you can download ones off of Cydia, okay? But I'm showing you how to create your own, okay? So what you want to do is whatever theme uh, has a good starting point, okay, guys? Uh, go ahead and open that one up. Alright, and you see these are all your options, okay, guy? Alright, so you want to close out, well, not close, but just minimize it, I'm sorry. And uh, in the meantime, Go ahead and make a new folder. Okay, and this is going to be your theme folder for your SB settings. So as soon as this loads up, give me a second. All right, here we go. Let me just rename it. Actually, I already have my folder, so I don't know why I did that. But give me a second here. Still loading up. Okay, uh, if you can see my folder over here, it's called the Boss. I don't know why I named it that, but just go with it. Okay, so what you want to do is say that's your desktop or documents, wherever you feel like saving it, rather. Okay, guys, and go ahead. Once you have that saved, where you know it's placed, you're gonna want to go ahead and uh, whatever theme you picked as a good starting point. Okay, locate it on your left-hand portion. So let me find mine here. I mean, locate the folder you just created, not the theme that you're using. Hold on. Okay, so let me look for the boss folder in here. It should be right up here. Give it a second to load. Okay, there's the boss folder. Alright, go ahead and open that up. As you can see, I have all the necessary files here, guys. Alright, and it also adds thumbs.db down there. Okay, so your folder should be empty because you've just created this. Go ahead and drag the theme that you've opened up that's actually on your SB settings, all the necessary files, into this folder, okay? Doesn't matter what they look like because you're just going to be messing around with them anyways, right? Okay? So go ahead and do that, and once you have all the necessary files in here, including the folders on the top if you notice, okay? Go ahead and you can just minimize your uh, springboard settings for now, okay? and go ahead and open up uh, a folder to the place you saved it on your actual computer, okay? So let's have this load up. As you can see here, uh, it will display everything that's on here. It should give you images, it's just taking a little, little, little while to load, sorry. Okay, so in the meantime, I want you to go ahead and open up uh, whatever program you use to edit photos or images, such as Adobe Photoshop or Paint.net. Uh, paint that is what I'm using, and I will post the description to download it in, uh, I mean, a link to download in the description. Sorry for that. Okay, that's a really easy program, and it's easy to follow since that's what I'm using. So, go ahead and open up that, as I said. Okay, once paint that loads up, 
Um, go into the folder you should already have open. I had to close it because I didn't have two uh, windows up. But okay. So as I mentioned, once you click on the folder you have created and drag all the necessary files in, uh, you will see all the images and options. Okay. So for instance, I'm just going to take background image one and drag it on the paint.net. Okay, mine are already different guys if you're noticing that because I've already messed around with it and I've customized my own. Okay, so just drag in the paint.net or wherever you and click open files in the tabs. Okay. And it'll look as follows. Okay, yours will be whatever it originally was, but as I mentioned I've messed around with it. Okay guys, and that's basically what you're gonna do for all the things inside that folder. You're just gonna customize what you're liking. You can drag pictures on them as sort. Okay, and uh, there's really nothing to, to go through here. You're just going to do whatever you want with them. And then uh, file, save as, back into the same folder. So click save as, and save it in your uh, theme folder. And then click save. It'll say, do you want to replace the background image that exists? Uh, click yes. And don't change the name of them, it's very important. And always save it as a PNG if it's ever changed. Okay, so... Now I'm just going to show you what this looks like once you're finished, if everything goes okay. So let me exit out of this really quick. Oh, I'm sorry guys, uh, after your theme is uh, complete to your liking, go ahead back in your SSH and drag it into that same folder. Okay, I apologize. So it's the uh, VAR mobile SB settings, I mean mobile library SB settings slash themes. And you would just drag it right under here, okay? So you see. I went to here. See, uh, mobile library SB settings themes, and right there, just drag it in. Okay, and you want to click the refresh button; it always gets it better. Okay, now let me open up my iPad here on the screen and show you what it looks like. Okay, uh, right here, real VNC. Okay, let's just let this load up. Give me a second. Okay. Click OK. And here we go. Alright. Sorry. I apologize for that. I don't know. Okay. And as you all know, probably to get SB settings, you simply. Uh, uh, slide your finger across the top of the screen of your iPod, and SB settings should appear. Okay, and as you see, it's customized to my liking. I've only changed a couple things just to get it going. Okay, uh, I changed my iMobile Cinema icon, the dock icon, and the background that you just saw on my Paint.net. Okay, so pretty simple, guys. You can just customize it to however you want it, and uh, have fun with it. And thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe.